Alright you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm with the beautiful, stunning Shanice Sheena. Girl, calm. We like it. <laughs> but you guys, we are back because we wanted to create a whole nother look for you guys using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette. And it's perfect for fall. We just finished creating this look and that's what this is all about. This video is a tutorial on how to get this look rock her. So if you want to keep watching, keep on watching. Keep on watching. <laughs> I feel like my unibrow <laughs> So if y'all you know, want to see this, keep on watching. Keep it rock her. Go grab a little snack, grab a little drink. Yeah, Natalie got her drink already. <laughs> I got my little drink rock her every day. And, um, Let's go. And we wanted to really like, yeah, just, I love this look. I really do. I do. I love, you know, I'm a big fan of the gold smoky eye. Um, I feel like a lot, it's like a really go-to makeup look for a lot of people. So I feel mm -hmm. like that's why it would be good to, to um, create it. Um, and also, I love to teach and I love doing Natalie's makeup. So if you guys have any suggestions for any looks you guys want to see or any yeah. new products that you guys want to try down. out and review for you guys, yeah, we're down. Just we are let us down. Know. Just let us know. And you guys, we just moved in, so the background and everything, my little, my YouTube room is coming together. It's so dope. Slowly but surely. That's why there's some probably echoing going on in this video as well as the other one. But soon we will be getting that fixed, so bear with us. And we'll be echo free. Yes. And yes. ready. <laughs> Should I start rapping? Here we go. <laughs> Shanice from Detroit, eight, eight mile. Eight mile. Seven mile, better mile. Seven mile, better mile. I grew up in Oak Park. <laughs> you guys want to know a little more about me. <laughs> anyway, you guys, yes. keep watching. Keep watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's right. Since her makeup is already done. Um, and we're gonna do her eyeshadow. Um, we're going to take some setting powder, the Laura Mercier setting powder, and then we're just gonna take a damp beauty blender and then just put some setting powder under her eyes just to collect the fallout so it doesn't mess up her makeup. Already primed her eyes, so we're just gonna start in with the eyeshadow. And show them the eyeshadow, girl. Show them that. Show them that eyeshadow, girl. Wait till I show them. <laughs> so today we are going in with the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions eyeshadow palette. So pretty. It's so pretty. I always love gold. Me too. Homes. I think that is like one of my favorite kind of safe. I just enjoy bronzy, browns, warm tones. Mm -hmm. The first shade that we're gonna go in with is this shade right here. And we're just gonna take this and then just brush it all over the eye just to set the eyeshadow primer so it makes the eyeshadow easy to blend. And I really think like, for me, because I obviously I love makeup so much and I have my own little routine of like foundation, concealer, highlight, all of that. But when it comes to eyes, um, it's really hard for me. Yeah. Yeah, being able, I mean, I think number one is finding a shadow that is super blendable. Mm -hmm. I agree. So the next. <laughs> so the next color that we're going to go in with is this sh shade right here. And we're just going to take that with a blending brush, the same one that I set her um, eyeshadow primer with. And we're going to just start it off as a transition. And transition, you mean by what does that mean? So your, your transition shade is the color that separates the lid from the brow bone. Okay. And the crease, it adds definition of the crease. Gotcha. If you guys hear like a ton of noise in the background, it's because my husband clearly doesn't care. <laughs> we can hear you. You guys can write in the comments. Jonathan. Indoor voices. Yeah. Indoor voices. I'm just taking this through the crease and the outer corner of the eye. Really big on blending, so I like to go in with just a, a tapered blending brush, and this is by MAC, and it's their 286 brush. I have like five of them in my kit, 
I really recommend you guys getting this brush. But what it does is just buffs out any harsh lines. Because we can put on eyeshadow, but if it's not blended, you end up looking scary. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna deepen her crease a little bit, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's like a burnt orange shade. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller blending brush. And I'm just gonna take it, and I'm gonna start off with the outer corner of the eye and work my way in to the crease. And I'm not taking it all the way through, I'm just taking it halfway through into the crease. Can I make an appearance? Yeah. Considering they can hear you making noise so that you're real. This is our little kid that's running around the house right now. Making up all the noise. Making wow, well, we were. What do you think? I think it was great. <laughs> we're ready to go out and down. <laughs> the backdrop is cool. That pink. What do you guys think about this pink? Yeah, guys, what do you think? Yeah. I'm going to do my live streaming Twitch without the background. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! I'll turn you quiet. I love you. Bye bye. Thank you. Love you. Love you. They love me too. This palette though is like so perfect for fall, like you said, because it's definitely fall vibes for sure. Mm -hmm. How long ago did this palette come out? I think they're pretty new. Um, they have like a, there's like a series of different colors. Mm -hmm. She has like ruby obsessions, like some purple ones, green ones, blue ones. For me, I thought with my kit, these are probably the ones I'm going to use the most. Yeah. I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. It's like a warm chocolatey brown. And I'm just gonna pick it up with the Morphe M509 brush. And just take this and work it on her lower lash line, causing a smoked out effect. And I'm just gonna feather it in to her outer, to the outer part of her crease. Once I have smoked out the outer corner of her crease i am going to go in with this shade right here and using a flat brush this is by mac this is their 246 brush just gonna go in and tap that on her lid when i'm taking this on her lid i'm just taking it from the inner corner of her lid to the center and then just kind of like buffing it out when i get to the outer corner because we're doing like a like a soft smoky eye. And I'm not taking it above her crease. I'm just placing it right at her crease. I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe 509 brush. I'm sorry, it's the Morphe 506 brush. And I'm just going to take the same brown that I was using and then just add a little more brown just to blend out any lines and then keep the outer part of the eye. This look is like perfect for date night or if you wanna go out to the grocery store, grab a thing of milk. You never know. She can meet your future husband. Mm -hmm. You know? If you're looking for a man mm -hmm. Use or the, woman. Yeah. Use the Hood of Beauty Pokad obsession. To make this sense. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. She's done. Done. I'm done. This is the Anais can rap. <laughs> Listen to the last video. So once I've smoked out the outer corners and I applied the color um, on the lid, I want to smoke out. I'm sorry, I don't want to smoke out. I want to add more depth into her crease. So I'm going to go in with these two shades right here. More depth and warmth. And I'm just going to lightly take it with a tapered blending brush. Dude, that stuff is so good. Did you want one? I'll wait till it's like older. Bougie. Bougie. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna take that and just apply this up into the crease. I'm really liking how this is turning out. Like I really like bronzy. Mm -hmm. You know, you're telling me. Once I've done that, I'm gonna add some gel liner. This is just the Inglot 77 gel liner. This is literally my favorite gel liner. I've used a lot of it, but I'll show you guys. So pigmented, so creamy. 
glides on like butter. I love it. And it's like, it doesn't smudge, it's like waterproof. So I just take the end of my angled brush and I put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna start with the inner corner of her eye and just line her lash line. I literally do hold my breath when I'm doing eyeliner because I'm like one mess up and there goes your look. Mm -hmm. When I'm doing the wing liner, I start from the outer corner of her eye and I make a line. Then I have her look down and then I just take it from the top and I connect that line to the inner corner like so. I've done that, I'm gonna align the inner part of her lash line, so I'm gonna have her look down. I'm look into her nose, and I'm just lightly gonna pull up on her lid, and just take the brush, and just gently apply the liner. And then I have you look down and look out. We're gonna go and smoke out her lower lash line. We're gonna take a small shader brush and then we are going to go in with these warm tones right here. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, I didn't mean to No, oh my god. She needs a sensitive, you guys. I am. She overthinks everything. We do. Oh my god. 2019, I don't think about it. That's it. You better get it together. We got three more months in 2018. Why wait? Start now. How about that? Yeah. Natalie, you got it, Natalie likes to put me in check for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, you're right, though. You're not. I just started it. the 30 day meditation challenge no today. Way. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yes, because we had the CEO of unplug meditation on the podcast yesterday and so she has an app so me and Jonathan are doing a 30 day challenge I'm meditating I want to do it do it it's the app called unplug uh, mm -hmm. I think I've got myself to meditate like once yeah um it was super simple this morning it was only 30 minutes long and it's super it's guided for you it just tells you to breathe it tells you what to do so like each day is going to be like something to work on so today we got taught it's called the 16 second it's like box breathing or tactical breathing and basically think about something i'll do it for you right now it'll take 16 seconds um something that's irritating in your life at this moment whether it be like the la traffic getting here um a person just something that's irritating mm -hmm. at this moment or frustrating or whatever so then you close your eyes so close your eyes you breathe in like a big deep breath in hold it for one two three four let it out one two three four and then you also pause so you have to hold your breath for four seconds too so it's four 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 okay. so you breathe in one, two, three, four, hold your breath. One, two, three, four, let it out. One, two, three, four, hold your breath. One, two, three, four. And you're done, 16 seconds, right? But you're obviously, your eyes are closed and all that stuff. And during those 16 seconds, were you thinking about what was irritating you? You're, you're not, because it's impossible for your mind to think and count at the same time. Yeah. So it, it relieves your stress immediate. No, and you're focusing on the breathing. But then don't you go back to thinking about it after? Well, that's the whole point is that like you take those moments of like and you repeat it until you're not as like worked up about whatever it is that's going on so that you can kind of be a little bit more mindful. Or like if you or if you like you and your boyfriend or girlfriend or whomever like get in a massive fight and you your immediate reaction you want to like yell at them, right? 
take 16 seconds and do it mm -hmm. and then you probably aren't gonna try and yell or say nearly what you were going to say before those 16 seconds i think that's true 60 this second is, tactical breaths you're learning makeup and meditation that's right mm -hmm. with natalie Eva Marie. that's right so once we have um used the warm tones to smoke out the lower lash line i'm just going to go in with a flat brush like this and with a brown shade right here and i'm just going to press this up against her lash line I'm gonna look up. for these tones. Really? Get it? Get it? Falling. <laughs> wow. They are definitely fall vibes for sure though. Mm -hmm. I love these. I mean, these colors are good for every eye color. Oh yeah. So we have smoked out her lower lash line. We're just gonna wipe off the excess um, setting powder that we have to collect all the fallout with the brush like so and have her look up and then you just sweep and tap. And then with a beauty blender, just blend out any extra powder. I always get worried to do that thing, it's gonna like, I don't know, come off or... No, because it's just taking off the excess that's on there. Because whatever your skin has already collected, like already you needed, so. has already sat in. Especially for like that like long amount of time, you know? Mm -hmm. We're going to go in with the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. These are my favorite from her lashes. We'll be back once the lashes are on. We put on her lashes and now we're going to go in with the lips. And for her lips, we are going to use the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liquid Lipstick in Exposed. Obviously, I have not dabbled into it yet personally or like tried to um, do my own eye and blend it out and everything. But from what I can see, I love these colors. And they're definitely the fall vibe for so sure. sure. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend this. Yeah, I would definitely recommend it too. Um, I just got it. It's actually the first time I used it on you. But I will say I am impressed with um, the blendability. Um, with the Step up in here so that they can see you girl. What's it? I forgot my mascara today, you guys. So I will say I am impressed with the blendability. Um, I am also impressed with um, the amount of fallout. I mean, of course, every eyeshadow I feel like has a little bit of fallout, but the fallout wasn't terrible. And the pigments. The pigments were great. Thumbs up in my books, and I will definitely keep it in my kit. I mean, yeah, you look bad as fuck. Fudge, sorry. 